That's what we are able to recover so far. Wednesday afternoon, Tanya Tronco cleared out her mother's unit at Burnham Hill Apartments at 29th and Mitchell. We're informed we have a lot of week to get everything out of the unit. No explanation other than that everybody has to clear out. The sudden departure comes after a deadly fire broke out last Thursday in a third floor unit. The Red Cross is helping 105 tenants with temporary housing. Is your mom frustrated? Extremely, extremely, and, and uh, she's on disability, so it's hard. A four-day notice is ridiculous. This Air Force veteran who did not want to be identified was put up at a hotel for now, but furious everyone is being kicked out. If you're dealing with uh, disabled people, senior citizens, veterans, who don't have cars, don't have trucks, don't have storage facilities lined up. Four days in the middle of February during COVID is just downright cruel. You can see the boarded up windows here where the fire broke out, but it's the entire building that tenants have to pack up their stuff and move out in just a few days. And we asked the manager here about why she says they're just following city orders. According to city records, it lists fire damage and an order to repair. We're actually really busy right now in the middle of dealing with all of it, but this is per the building inspector of the city of Milwaukee. Even to some right units that don't have any damage, they got to go. It's the building. I mean, the building has to be safe for people to be in. 12 News has learned it could be weeks or several months before some tenants could return. Where are you going to live? I've got some options because I'm a veteran. Some are screwed. They're worse off than I am. In Milwaukee, Hillary Mintz, WISN 12 News. The VA tells 12 News they're working to set up long-term housing for 20 veterans in the building.